what would you say the year, the grade level, just the time that you really just really told yourself, okay, you know what, I'm gonna take this music thing serious, man. Around what time, year, grade level did you really start taking it serious? No bullshit, about two years ago, man. Really about a year and a half ago, I was in Alabama. And uh, before I went to Alabama, I was more so like... You was working and shit out there? Yeah. Okay. I was doing some little security, like installation jobs out there. But uh, before I went out there, I was working with nigga Check Chase Chip. Shout out Chill, my nigga. Shout out, shout out. Uh, he uh, would let me go to the studio with him and shit. Like, you know, get me in tune with the music and, you know, see how shit would go with him. He asked me one day, say, hop in the booth, bro. See how that shit go. Shit, I got in that hole and I, you know, kind of felt it, but when I, 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 we made a couple songs. He put two songs out, uh, Millionaire Mindset. That was the first song I ever wrote. Millionaire Mindset and Wrong Way. First two songs I ever wrote, man. We put, he put them out for me. And shit, I, that was what I would listen to a lot. And first thing I did was, you know, send it to people I ain't know and they told me they fucked with it. So while I was out there, going out there, you know, I had a couple songs. Uh, I, had, I had actually dropped a, uh, a little mixtape called Remade. That was my first ever mixtape I dropped. That's out now on all major platforms. Uh, uh, so I would, I would jam that and I would, you know, jam a, a, a couple other songs that we had put out. And it was just, it would, it would build a hunger in me, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I was like, shit, I, I really feel like I can do this. And then even me letting people out there listen to, you know, a couple songs I got on there, Addicted or, you know, Statement or whatnot, listening to them songs. And people in Alabama, I don't even know, telling me, hey, man, you, you know what I'm saying? You, you got something, you know what I'm saying? I, I guess it just took, and it, it's a bad thing, you know, this is one of my flaws. It took me hearing people from the outside telling me, hey, you probably, you can probably do this, so I, I'm getting your message in. Them actually wanting to know stuff about me and giving me a platform to speak to them and get my message to them about who I am, you know what I'm saying? That's what just made me feel like, hey, I can really, I can really do this music this shit. And, you know, I just got a hunger for it. I'm gonna really do it. I gotta get my message. I feel like I, I gotta get the message out. The message out that's that's in me and the message coming from God, man. I just gotta get the message out. So nah, for real. And uh, to double back on what you said as far as like other people telling you, um, you know what I'm saying, your music went hard. It's always good. Like people always say, yeah, yeah, oh, man, yeah. oh, man, oh, man, oh, man, no, don't listen. Like, uh, don't don't listen to people, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's that's close to you and all that. Or like random people, you know what I'm saying? Because they'll just tell you what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's good to hear that. To um, boost your confidence a little bit, cause really this this stuff I'm doing the stuff you're doing is based off of confidence. If you didn't have confidence in yourself, I wouldn't be here, and you gonna be in uh, in, in uh, your music gonna be playing in the background. So all this is based off of confidence. Somebody have to boost your confidence. Like I mean, of course, of course you want to build your confidence yourself, but someone it's always good to get good yeah. feedback from other people as well. It was so, something to you sometimes. Yeah. Exactly, you know what I'm saying? Like not to sit them. Not, not, not to sit up and say, you know what I'm saying, you want somebody to make you feel like you're the shit, but sometimes it's good to, it's good for motherfuckers yeah. to say, hey man, your shit jamming, hey man, that, hey man, you got some good food, hey man, hey man, I like your um, interviews and all, it's always good to hear opinions from outside sources, man, so definitely, definitely that, man, but um, let's double back on when you said um, you had um, some good times at Nimitz High School, man, explain that, man, what, what all went down up there, man. <laughs> Man, high school, it, it was cool. Like I said, I wasn't the type to be all out there, but stuff I saw, man, just coming start from whether it was fights to, you know, teachers and students getting into fights or teachers and coaches getting into fights, man, it, 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 it all really happened, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I ain't really got no, like, personal, personal thing that happened with me in, in school, but, you know, it, it saw a lot. It was just, just being able to... Uh, just, just have the, the people growing up to bring the entertainment, you know what I'm saying, to the high school. It was, it was cool just seeing that type of stuff.